Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm doing some creek fishing with my friend Curtis, who does not fish a ton, but we are trying out a new lure today, and I literally only brought this lure with us today, so I'm hoping it'll work, but the new lure I'm trying out is the Z-Man Baby Goat. It's like a new kind of twin tail grub lure that kind of looks like a little crawfish, but it can also be used like uh, just swimming it in. So today I'm gonna be fishing this on a weedless Ned Rig jig head, like hopping off the bottom, and I'm giving Curtis a lighter Ned Rig jig head just to cast out cast the bait out and swim it in. So we're kind of just going to compare it and um, see if it can catch fish both fishing on the bottom and fishing just like reeling it in because it's advertised to be able to catch fish both ways. So anyway, we're going to get out to the creek and hopefully catch some fish. I think I should have, uh, we should have gone with little lures at another spot and we could have caught more fish. It would have been more exciting. There's a fish. Never mind. I was talking about how we should have gone somewhere else because we would have caught more fish. But I got a fish right when I said that. I don't think he's very big. Where is he? There he is. Okay, don't come off fish. Finally got one on this little Z-Man goat. It's a little spotted bass probably. Yep. Damn. There we go. Finally. Yeah, well it's, it hasn't been that long. Curtis hasn't fished that much, but it's like 20 something minutes. So it's not terrible for this creek. You know, I've, I've, I've had some really good days here and some really bad days at this creek. So it just kind of varies, but that's our first fish on this little Z-Man baby goat. Um, I was, I've mainly been fishing it like hopping off the bottom, but I've also been swimming it in a little. And I'm pretty sure I got a bite swimming in a second ago, but this fish I caught just hopping off the bottom. All right, well, not a big one to start off, but I'm glad I got something. And there he goes. Oh, you got one. I thought you were stuck. There we go. So you were just swimming it in, right? Huh? You were just swimming it in? Went all along there, coming down here, like a width of current. There we go. Curtis has yeah, got, got his first fish. What's up, baby boo? All right, so this is proof that this little uh, Z-Man baby goat will catch fish if you hop it off the bottom or if you're just swimming it in. It's about that honestly that dude, might be bigger than mine they're about the same size eyes, all right here goes the release are, bro. so as y'all saw my friend and i were only able to catch one fish each on that little z-man baby goat doing some creek fishing which definitely does not seem very good but i will say the last time i went to that creek i was also going after bass i also fished for an hour and i also only caught one fish so i'm going to give this little baby goat another shot doing some pond fishing in a smaller pond that's usually pretty easy to catch fish in. There's a ton of bass in here, so I'm definitely expecting it to catch some more fish. But I think I'm just gonna fish it with the same setup on a little Ned Rig head and uh, see how it does. Well, I just caught a fish, but I was not recording. Uh, it's too bad y'all missed that. It was tiny though, so. Was that a fish? Oh my gosh, my line was stuck. I got a fish. Oh my gosh, it's not too bad either. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. This is actually a decent one. It's like a pound and a quarter or so. I don't know what happened. I, my line, like, there's a knot in my line and it, like the cast kind of just like stopped because of the knot. And this guy must have hit it on the fall. I think I was talking about it at the beginning of this video, how this lure is action on the fall. And that guy must have hit it on the fall while I was trying to fix my line there but that's not a bad fish he's probably about a pound and a quarter and this is actually my second fish i've caught here the first one i didn't even realize but i wasn't filming yet it was like tiny but uh, there we go second fish on the z-man goat they were actually third i guess there's a fish he's running at me there he is. Not very big. Smaller than the last one. I will take him though. This lure is working great so far. And I'm realizing the biggest advantage of this lure is, pr is probably the fact that it's made from Z-Man plastic, um, Elaztec. Because most lures like this that have two small like twin tails um, break really easily like the tails always break off but because this is made of Elaztec 
it'll probably like never break. I mean, this is just super stretchy. So that guy's obviously pretty small, but it's working pretty well. Uh oh, that was a fish. Come back, buddy. Uh oh, does he have it? There's a fish. It was a bad hook set. I couldn't really hook set that far because of the tree. Like I didn't want to just slap my rod into those branches. But I still got him. I think this is fish number four. Even though I guess it's fish number three that y'all saw. But uh, this guy's uh, average size one probably for this pond. This pond's actually like, I've caught a five pounder out of here a couple times. It's a very healthy pond. It's very small, but it's got a lot of fish in it. I'll take that guy. There's a fish. He chased it in. I'm pretty sure he bit it a couple times. I wasn't sure it was a fish or a stick, but when I started reeling it in, he just hit that thing immediately. All right, so just another little guy, but this lure is holding up really well. Um, just like I thought it would, because it's made of that uh, Z-Man Elastec, but I'll take that dude. There's a fish. Man, every time I hook into one, I feel like it might be a decent one, but this is just another little guy. But man, now I'm really getting on them. I've got three fish in like the past five, six minutes probably. Oh, there we go. That is a fish. Couldn't tell if that was a fish or not. What the heck? It's another small guy. He, they, they fight so hard here. Like it honestly seems like a decent fish, but he's not big at all. Here he comes. It's kind of, kind of a little chunk though. It's actually not too bad of a fish. Might be the second biggest one we caught today. Maybe, second or third biggest. Something like that. All right, yeah. Little chunk, still less than a pound, but I'll take it. Dad. Oh, I got a fish. Wait one sec. Oh man, he's wrapped around. Uh... Oh, never mind. I got him. Well, I'm on the phone with my dad, and I just caught one. I just missed one over there a second ago, um, and this guy came back for it. But anyway, so it's, it's just a little bass, like half-pound bass. But uh, I'll take him.